Today I want to show you what is the right way to review a pull request in GitHub. This is the 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or a service, or yet try and teach you something and all in just 3 minutes. Short videos, big value. Hopefully. Today we talk about pull request reviews in GitHub and how to do them properly. And I wanted to make this video because I've seen that a lot of people are still confused whether they need to use the start new review button or just add a new comment. But let's start the clock and get into it. So here we are in the pull request and let's click on files changed so we can see the changes that have been made. You can see that we have a bunch of changes and perhaps we want to comment on multiple changes because for example, we want to tell the author that it's not a good idea having those keys in the code, that maybe he forgot to put the new title here as this seems like just a placeholder and also that probably he's forgotten to remove that file because it says it's for test only. So in this situation, what I see a lot of people doing is just clicking on the plus on the row that they want to comment on or perhaps selecting multiple rows click on the plus, writing the comment, and then click on this add single comment button. Now, you can definitely do that, but there are two main disadvantages of doing so. First of all is that as soon as you click add single comment, a notification will be sent to all the people following this pull request. And this means they will receive an email if that's configured that way, or at least a notification in GitHub. Now, if we do so for all the comments we want to put here, it means that all the people involved will receive at least three emails or notifications. One for this comment, one for this, and one for this one. And this is a very simple PR. But imagine if you have a big PR with many files and you need to leave many comments, that will be a notification flood. The second reason why you want to avoid this is because in general, you want to have all your comments and change requests grouped in the same review. So what you would do instead is starting a review. When you do so, the comment is marked as pending because it's been recorded inside a pull request. However, this has not been finalized yet, so no notification has been sent and so on and so forth. So we can continue with our review and do all the changes that we deem necessary. Like for example, removing these. And again, I'm gonna add a new review comment rather than a single comment. And this will add this specific change request to my current review. And as you see, it's still market spending. Finally, let's do the last one. Once again, leave a comment here saying that perhaps the author has forgotten to delete this. Now, when everything is done, when you're satisfied, all you have to do is going in the finish your review button. When you do so, you can leave a final comment for the whole review. And you can decide if you just want to leave a comment, if you want to approve the PR directly or like what we are going to do now, request some changes that the author must address before he'll be able to merge. When we click on submit review, as you can see here, the three pending comments will be batched and added to the review directly. So let's do this. And as you can see, only one single comment is left in the review and all the other comments are linked to the files. If we would have used the add new comment button instead, we would have all of these comments at the pull request level, if you will. And as I said before, this would have caused a notification flood and also clutter the pull request discussion section. So this is how you properly do a pull request review in GitHub. I hope you have now a better understanding on how to do pull request reviews in GitHub. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this and how you approach your pull request reviews. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave.